Hi everyone, I'm Regine Tolentino, mom of Rain, Reagan, and baby Rosie, who's soon gonna be turning one. I've been a mom for many years, but I feel like I'm a new mom again. I gave birth during the pandemic, and hanggang ngayon, pandemic pa rin. Even at a time of so many uncertainties, there are things we can do for our children that will make them feel safe and give us parents much needed peace of mind. There has been so much talk about child car seats, and I think it's really important for parents to keep on asking questions about this new law. RA11229, or the Child Safety and Motor Vehicles Act, is a law that was passed on February 22, 2019. That was two years ago. It's true that enforcement of RA11229, which was due to have started February 2, 2021, has been postponed or deferred due to difficulties around the pandemic. Now it's time to catch up on the law. Enforcement of the Child Safety and Motor Vehicles Act has been deferred to give car owners with children 12 years and younger time to install appropriate car seats specified in the new law. Choose a car seat that is appropriate to your child's age, height, and weight. This may be a rear-facing infant seat, a child safety car seat, a booster seat, or a booster cushion. Experts including doctors, lawyers, government officials, and other groups and parents like myself believe that the heart of the law is to save children's lives. We are doing our part using our social media spaces kasi mas maganda kong malinaw para sa ating lahat. Ano nga ba ang dapat natin malaman sa batas na to? Ang mga batang edad 12 years old pababa at may tangkad na mas mababa pa sa 4 feet 11 inches na nakasakay sa private vehicles, pati na rin sa mga for rent na sasakyan like vans. Dapat nakaupo at buckled up sa child car seat na ayon sa kanilang edad, tangkad at timbang. Dapat nasa likod ng sasakyan at palaging may kasamang magulang o adult kahit nakapart lang at kahit nakastrap in na sa child car seat. Iba na ang panahon ngayon kesa nung mga bata pa tayo. Ngayon, mas marami na ang sasakyan at mas malawak na ang mga kasada kesa dati. Mabibilis na rin ang mga driver magpatakbo sa mga highways kapag konti ang sasakyan, tulad ngayong pandemic. The number of crash-related deaths of children has been rapidly increasing the past years. The times have changed and so should our behavior. As technology and knowledge on road safety develop, so should laws adapt. That's why we have road safety measures in the Philippines, including laws on speeding, drunk driving, helmet use on motorcycles, use of seatbelts, and now child restraints or child car seats. Child car seats give special protection for young children's softer bones, weaker neck muscles, and more fragile bodies. Even the tightest embrace of a parent will not stop a child from being injured or killed in a road crash. Kaya po, kandong is not enough, mommies. Kapag pwede nang lumabas ang pamilya, naka-child car seat na po sana ang mga bata. Let's keep our little children secured and strapped inside the car and give them the best chance of surviving a road crash. Our kids deserve to feel safe and be safe. Let's buckle up our treasures.